Hey, what's up everybody? Zach here today and we've got our pit fired up. We're rolling smoke. Everything's going great. It's a beautiful evening and we're about ready to cook some delicious meat on all our pit balls. So I know this is something that we've all experienced. You know, you got your pit balls fired up and then, you know, I didn't turn my pit balls on. Wait a minute. Oh, it's my new smoke tube. So if you've never had a smoke tube, we're gonna be getting into all that right now. All right, so what we're dealing with here is my new fun toy that I got that I've been wanting to share with y'all and tell y'all about. I have a lot of people asking, how can I get more smoke out of my pellet smoker? Some people are disappointed in the amount of smoke that these babies produce. And if that's you, today we're gonna to answer that question. Today, we are talking about smoke tubes. So what we're working with here is a stainless steel, and this is the amazing brand smoke tube. They, make, they have several varieties and they even have pans for longer smokes. This one in particular is their expandable version, which is why I got it, because you can get two to four hours. You're looking at about two hours, four hours of smoke. And this thing is just super versatile. You can add it to a gas grill. You can add it to a charcoal grill. You can add it to any type of cooker that you want to add more smoke and get more smoke flavor out of your cooker. You can also use this in a vertical, in any type of smoker, to do cold smoking. So if you've ever wanted to do like a cold smoked cheddar cheese or you know smoked Gouda or smoked cream cheese, doing a cold smoke, smoked salmon, all these things like preserving meats, cold smoking, if you've ever heard those terms, if you've never looked into it, you should look into it. Because if you buy one of these, you now have the ability to do cold smoking which is pretty cool and we're gonna make some videos about that coming up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this thing up with pellets. I'm just gonna give you a quick tutorial. Today we're burning cherry wood from the B&B &B brand. I picked these pellets up at Academy Sports. I cooked some chicken the other day um, using their apple and it turned out just really good, really good. Uh, it, was a, it was a good hot burn. I never had jam ups. The size is pretty consistent on these pellets. You don't have a whole lot of really big ones that might cause a, an auger jam. Yeah, you just take them, fill them up, no more complicated than that. And then you take a torch and light them. So let's get to that. So once you've got your smoke tube filled up and you've decided about how long you want it, I've got mine extended out just a little bit so that the end is not just capped off with pellets and they start trying to fall out. So what you want to do is just find your place in your smoker. If you're doing cold smoking, you can put it anywhere. If you're doing hot smoking, you can put it anywhere. Uh, smoke rises, I'm typically going to be putting it around the bottom so that the smoke's coming up and sort of circulating in the chamber just a little bit. Whereas if you was to set it up here, there's a good chance it's just going to go straight out the top. But what you want to do is get you a torch or one of these lighter tumbleweed type things. And you want to get them lit, get them good and lit. These things are made of all stainless steel, made for heat. Okay, so once you've got it lit, you're going to see these flames that are going in there. And what Amazing Smoking Products recommends is that you just let it burn for upwards of 10 minutes. And that's going to create a nice ash bed that's going to continue to burn through that tube until it burns all the way out. But if you let the fire grow out too quickly, you won't get that ash bed and it won't be like a fuse. It'll just burn out. So you wanna give it a good chance to actually get lit. And so we're gonna let this burn for a minute, then I'm gonna blow it out and we're gonna shut it down. And that'll be when it's a good time to put your meat on there and do whatever you wanna do. So I've had some people ask me in the comments on several of my videos, like how can I get more smoke 
out of my pellet smoker, I used to have a stick burner and I'm used to more smoke, you know, and I think there's a, there's some, definitely some nostalgia there. Definitely some nostalgia, just, you know, the, the, the seeing the smoke roll, seeing the smoke roll. And so this is something that you can add in, get more smoke, get more smoke flavor and still have the set it and forget it game. You know, there's great fun in sitting around a, a pit uh, with a couple of your buddies, cracking open a few cold drinks and, you know, just checking on it from time to time. And by the time that food's ready, you've been sitting there smelling it and working with that fire the whole time. There's definitely a benefit to that. But there's also a benefit to the set it and forget it. And that's what these pit bosses offer. You don't get quite as much smoke most of the time, but we add in our smoke tube and next thing you know, we're rolling smoke like crazy and we are getting that nostalgic smoke roll look. We're getting a little bit more smoke flavor on our food and things are just better. So this is something that you may want to add into your arsenal on things that you have noticed you don't get as much smoke on. Like if you're burning a higher heat, like if you've got that baby ramped up to 350 and you're fast cooking a chicken or some chicken wings or something like that and you're just not getting the smoke attachment on the meat that you want, for one, it's going to dry the skin out really quick and there's not going to be a lot of smoke attached. If you've got more smoke in the chamber, guess what? You're going to have more smoke on your food and you're going to get more of the finished result that you're looking for. So keep that in mind. I'm going to leave a link to this thing below. So as you can see, we've got a really good pillar of smoke coming out of the pit right now. This is the combination of the smoke tube plus the pit ball smoke. And this is more like what you can expect to consistently see if you combine the smoke tube which I'll leave a link to below so you can check it out, plus your pit boss pellets. So I, you know, just, just for throwing some ideas out there, you could either combine, you know, cherry wood in the pellets or competition blend in the pellets, competition blend in the tube, or say you like the competition blend, but you just want an extra little kick of cherry. So your competition blend in here, put cherry in the tube. Now you've got that extra little kick of cherry. Or say you don't want the competition blend. You don't want all those mixes of all those different types of wood, which I like, but that's not what you want. What you want is apple, cherry, bacon wrapped, pork, tenderloin. That's what you want. And so what you can do is you can put, as you can put apple, you put in the cherry into the tube. Now you apple, cherry, bacon wrapped, pork tenderloin that you've always dreamed of since you were just a little bitty six pound, eight ounce baby. Remember that? You were like, man, pork tenderloin, bacon wrapped, pork tenderloin. You may not have known that's what you were crying about, but that's what you wanted. If your mama had said, put that bottle down, have a bite of this. You would have been like, oh yeah, that's what I was wanting right there. Anyway, so this is the result that you get and this is the result that you can expect. I just wanna say thanks everybody for watching this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment, hit that notification bell, consider becoming a subscriber so we can get into more stuff that helps us become better cooks, better barbecue pit masters, and hopefully eat some good food along the way. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate everybody watching this video. Thanks so much for sticking with me. I hope you learned something. If you got some value from this content, remember likes are free and they help me out so much. They help me with that YouTube algorithm. If you know anything about the algorithm, algorithm is boss. Sometimes I like to think I'm the boss, but then I, I realize that the algorithm is the boss. So anyway, thanks so much. We'll see y'all in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,